Video captured in Richmond by student pilot Ethan West shows the moment a plane appears to get struck by lightning after taking off from YVR. It's kind of just like shock. I was just trying to get the loud noise, but then I ended up getting all of the other stuff in it too. West says he comes here to the Larry Berg Flight Path Park most Sundays to check out the planes at YVR, but this past Sunday was unlike any others in disbelief of what he caught on camera. I checked my flight radar, which is normally how I find out which aircraft are going to be operating, and I saw there was a 777-300, which is uh, one of my favorite aircraft. It's like the biggest uh, twin passenger aircraft in the world, so I thought that'd be pretty interesting to get a video of it, especially since it's super loud. West says it was hailing Sunday evening when he was tracking the Air Canada Flight 860 from Vancouver to London Heathrow. Aviation expert John Graddick at McGill University says when it comes to airplanes being struck by lightning, the impact is only only felt when the plane is on the ground. The first thing that has to be done by the ground staff is basically to ground the airplane, and that is a wire that they attach to the airplane uh, at the moment the airplane is stopped, and that that wire basically dissipates any electrical energy that's stored in the airplane. City News reached out to YVR Airport for confirmation of the lightning strike and were referred to NAV Canada, the federal agency responsible for air navigation. We didn't get a response back before broadcast. While the video is jarring, those who study aviation say it's not a cause for concern. The regular occurrence, don't need to be worried about it. It is spectacular uh, when you see it from the ground and it is spectacular if you happen to be seated at the right place at the right time at the air, on an airplane looking out the wing. Uh, but really, there is there is no danger. It's kind of uh, cool to be able to like break down the knowledge and see that it's safe so that people don't get uneasy, especially with a video like that. If there's not proper context, it could scare a lot of people. In Richmond, Kate Walker, City News.